We're out here in the cold doing Operation Seabird Deep Freeze. We're testing limitations of our seabird equipment along with doing tactical training. The threat's ever changing. Uh, we have to learn to adapt and overcome. We've been used to testing our equipment in the desert and heat. It's time to make sure it can operate in cold, pushing those limitations and driving the mission forward. If you don't mind the cold, it's a great time. The whole point of Operation Seabird Deep Freeze is to put our skills and equipment to the test in an extreme weather environment. And the extreme weather environment that we face every year is cold weather. And cold weather brings along with it a slew of problems. And what we can do to, to combat those things or keep our equipment operational as long as we can. The students were given intel that they need to go to this site, clear out the area, make sure there weren't any, any enemy combatants there, and then go in and uh, attempt to get samples or to also try and identify the products that were being made inside. So the students tactically came down the road uh, to survey the situation and then they moved in towards the building, determined which entrance they wanted to go into. Then they proceeded to get inside as fast as possible, found the room that had the lab that they were looking for. They decided where they wanted to sample, deconned as best they could at the time, and then tried to get out. The cold weather definitely adds to a difficulty in both the getting to the site that they need to uh, exploit and uh, sample at, as well as the actual sampling itself. Even our equipment, the battery life on all of our equipment really shortens down when we get cold. It's something that you have to think about, and not just your equipment, but also your, uh, your health. We haven't really tested our cold weather equipment in 30 years. Basically, since the end of the Cold War, we don't have those uh, tactics and techniques and procedures built up anymore for the current equipment. We have it for legacy equipment, but we don't use that anymore. So we need to do the hard work of developing those TTPs for our current equipment. We're having a team come out to respond to our improvised device that was suspected chemical warfare agent. We're looking to see if we can find confirmation of a chlorine product or, or maybe some precursors to a chlorine product. We're trying to develop some analytical thinking. We're trying to hone and sharpen those, those response skills and the, and the recce skills, evaluating the facility. And then once they've done some monitoring outside the facility, they're gonna check inside the facility and, and try to identify as much as they can about what was going on inside. We're running them through a bio scenario where they're coming across any type of uh, bio agents. They're getting into their chem gear and they're taking samples and trying to identify what they're coming across. Then they can push the information up to uh, higher headquarters. We have them room clearing procedures. They went through a little bit of training with our security forces members and got a little bit of shoot movement communicate room clearing procedures from them to help them accomplish their missions that they're being tasked with today. The way a seabird hazard reacts in heat is very different than how it will react in cold. So it's important that we understand how that's going to react and what equipment we'll need to push that mission forward. All right, glad we can agree on that. That's the first thing I'm thinking of. Just want to make sure we clear that ha hazard. We're going to want multi rays in there. That the gear we're bringing in is going to be suitable for that. Huh? So, oh, will you and your team be joining us while we go down there outside? Um, my, I will probably be going back there. down the road in this. We can always stop there, maybe mop up there. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Huh? The one we can stop here. One.
Dropping bombs. Can't be mouth. Alright. All airborne threats are down. I got it, go. Exfilled before attack. Over. Link up with you at uh, your Victor. I'll copy. Over. Copy. Good copy. I'm just crazy. You've got to be shit. <laughs> the rest will come naturally. <laughs> well, we're cleaning around here, right? So let's see what they think of this. We got the time. They may not like it. I don't know. I'm just saying we're doing that. So if you see that, we, we're interested on your take at the end. Yep. Oh, sure. Okay. Yep, that's, that's great. Do. But not too close. I see police, I see a heat source. Yeah, I'm seeing something being heated too. Alright, give me this. I got this one. Oh yeah. I see. Corner. Yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah. Good. So, 
We took a peek inside. They clearly got a setup. We got a suit, something being heated. Uh, shoot the first. <laughs> yep, yep, good call. Good right, call. Because I'd be sitting right here because like almost all these windows have a crack or a What? So you two are first, I'll, try, I'll bring up Caboose. Okay. Sorry, yes. There shouldn't be anything here. I don't want to know. Okay, it's kind of <laughs> like, oh, okay. Right. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a nice car accident. Like, like a scary shouldn't be one. Yeah, you're but like, I want just how much worse it can be. Yeah. That's funny. But to be perfectly honest, like, again, real world. <laughs> on the paper and the paper not absorbing it. I told you it's a water based product versus an oil based product. So these are just boxes and saying, well, it's not this, it's not this, it's not this. So now instead of looking at Google and saying, um, all right, I'm set up it, the black boot versus the yellow boot. You know, so we've got, uh, let me check and see where they are. Teams are kind of providing some additional support, but they're. Right, let me see where those guys are in terms of getting the gear set, and I'll let you know. Okay, right. sounds good. Thank, right. you. Okay, thank you. Can we dock the road closer up on the map? So I'm thinking about we're just going to park our car about right here. That's what I'm thinking. And then see how they, if they all along the road or if they go yeah. through the woods okay. right at. If they start going around, they're going to get lanes stuck. To it. Yeah. yeah, so we're just going to stop. Uh, I was going to say we'll get out there before you guys okay. so that we don't have to worry about that, and then we'll...
go right that front door. And you two stop at that stairwell. Let me know when you're ready. Alright, you ready? Yeah.